Hi there, I'm Tara with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Today, we are jumping into stamps with a quick overview of what's available and a couple techniques you'll be dying to try. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you is actually not a stamp, it's craft foam. I'm slipping this underneath the paper I'll be stamping on to ensure that my work surface is smooth, flat, and even. That way, I know all my stamps details will show up crisp and clean every time. All right, now let's talk about the stamps, starting with the rubber variety. These guys are etched or molded out of a sheet of rubber and then attached to a wood block. A piece of cushy foam is commonly sandwiched in between here too. We made this fun mustache gift wrap using a wooden stamp, and that's just the start of what you can do. The biggest draw toward rubber stamps is that they're high quality and durable, so they'll last a really long time if taken care of properly. Plus, the rubber is firmer than other types of stamps, so it's easier to get clean lines and precise images. The second type of stamp you'll find at Hobby Lobby is clear stamps. These come on clear sheets instead of wooden blocks and are often even grouped in fun assortments. To use clear stamps, you'll need to remove them from the plastic backer sheet and stick them onto a clear acrylic block. The lines on the blocks help you get the stamp nice and straight and ready to go. It's the clarity of these stamps that makes them so appealing. You can easily see right where the image will go. Plus, they're small and easy to store, so the more the merrier. All right, now I'm ready to ink up my stamp. Here's a trick. Turn the stamp over, pick up the ink pad, and dab it onto the stamp like this. It's easier to see when you have enough ink coverage, and it also works great if your stamp is bigger than the ink pad. When you're ready to put the stamp to paper, make sure there isn't excess ink on the stamp or block that could leave unwanted marks. Press directly downward on the stamp and resist the urge to wiggle it. That can cause your stamp to shift. Don't press too hard either, especially with the softer clear stamps. If you do, the image might end up looking warped. See the difference? All right, let's learn a stamping technique called masking. That's how we made the overlapping detail on this card, and here's how it's done. First, I'll go ahead and stamp my project. Then, I'll stamp that same image on a sticky note or a piece of scratch paper. I'll cut it out now, getting as close to the edge of the image as possible. Okay, so this is my mask. Next, I'll place my mask directly over the original image so that I can stamp on top of it with no overlap of ink. Instead, the images look layered, and you can do it with multiple stamps on the same project, like our card here. You could also try placing some tape directly onto the part of the stamp you don't want to appear. Then, just ink your stamp, remove the tape, and press it onto the paper. I love how it changed this birthday stamp into a stamp I can use for just about any occasion. After all the stamping is done, you'll want to clean and store your stamps to keep them working for years to come. You'll find several types of stamp cleaners at Hobby Lobby, including scrubby pads and wipes. If you use stays-on ink, be sure to get stays-on ink cleaner as well. For storing your stamps, here are a few tips. Clear stamps need to be kept in a dark, dry place to avoid discoloration, so try these binders made especially for them. Woodblock stamps can go in boxes or drawers so that they lay flat, which will keep the layers from coming apart over time. And no matter what the style, keep your stamps away from extreme temperatures since that can also cause deterioration. Well, that's it. Everything you need to know to get started stamping. Don't forget to watch our ink pads video too for even more great tips and inspiration. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time here at the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio.